Hi, my name is Jürgen Holland. I am a designer from Norway. In this tutorial, I want to show you one of my favorite shaders in Holland Render. Uh, the reason why it's uh, a cool shader is because Cinema 4D doesn't do this more or less. And let's take a look. I just created a utility shader from the menu there. And go into the IPR and add the utility. So uh, from the start it has a really simple shader. I can maybe turn off the background just to make this a little bit faster. Um, yeah, for it has an endo eye shader mode as a standard. This is more or less a picture view look. But uh, since it's inside the uh, Arnold uh, render system, you can uh, have much more control of this than in the normal shader mode. So if I take uh, other, another color, you can all, of course shade this and change stuff as you like. Uh, for instance, if you use the Lambert shader, that picks up the light, so you can use the same technique, but uh, ha have it driven by the light. And in this way you can uh, really make some weird and interesting looks. If I go into the Lambert and uh, can change it to flat, then I can look uh, more closely to the different color modes. So the first one is of course colors, and I want to go into everything but uh, uh, you can have a really so many ways of uh, controlling the uh, surface or be able to change stuff based on, for instance, UV mapping, uh, based on the direction the object is pointing. Like the, I really like the shader point mode. Uh, if I connect the ramp here again I can uh, and if I put a AL layer color into the mix I can uh, control uh, the color direction uh, if I put in green and add that to the multiply then I have um, one direction from the uh, the position pass and um, and it's based on uh, red, blue and green, the RGB and it shows different directions so if I want to colorize something from the uh, from one direction to the other it could uh, be done maybe like this And uh, a cool thing is that you can uh, really see which direction everything, which direction the color are pointing, the gradient are pointing. So it's endless of possibilities. And uh, I have done many things uh, based on these techniques. Uh, and it's a good way to maybe have a, a different style on uh, on uh, it's a good way to find a different style in your know, object mode for instance uh, every part of the object is uh, colorized and uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff that I haven't found any use in yet but um, yeah you can really uh, find some weird stuff that isn't possible in Cinema 4D. And um, uh, of course the utility is really good, but uh, you can also use um, the shading state that has some other way of solving the same stuff. So, uh, for instance, the shading uh, state float, I mean, uh, has uh, some interesting possibilities. 
they are based more or less on the same. For instance, if you connect the state vector that has some weird uh, stuff that you can uh, base your renders on, uh, I would say this gives a little bit more of an illustrative look. Yeah, you can base uh, maybe find a whole new uh, illustrating style in. So um, yeah, that was a short one. Hopefully this um, can give you some inspiration and uh, find some place to start doing your renders. Yeah, uh, you know the drill. Subscribe to my channel and there will be more uh, tutorials in the future. So uh, have a good one and uh, goodbye.